Introduction. You may have heard of a war named the Vietnam War. It was one of the longest wars the U.S. has taken part of, lasting 20 years from 1955 to 1975. Okay. It took place in South Vietnam, North Vietnam, Laos, and Cambodia. The war was caused when North Vietnam's government and the Viet Cong wanted to reunify Vietnam as one country under the rule of communists. The anti-communist forces in the war were South Vietnam, the, the U.S., South Korea, Australia, Thailand, New Zealand, and the Kingdom of Laos. The communist forces were North Vietnam, the Viet Cong, Pathet Lao, China, and North Korea. One of the main reasons the U.S. aided South Vietnam is because of the domino theory. The theory says if Vietnam went communist, other countries in Southeast Asia would too. Equipment. The clothing the U.S. and Allied soldiers wore were lightweight combat jackets and military jungle boots. The boots had steel reinforced insoles that protected soldiers from booby traps. North Vietnamese soldiers wore green canvas shirts, green canvas pants, and helmets made of pressed paper. The Viet Cong wore black cotton shirts and pants to blend in with South Vietnamese villagers. When there were very few weapons, the Viet Cong would, made, would make homemade guns out of pipes, old parts of guns, bike parts, etc., etc. North Vietnamese and Viet Cong used guns such as the AK-47 rifle and the SKS SKS Carbine. The U.S. and oh, U.S. soldiers used M16 rifles, um, 12 gauge shotguns, uh, M9A1 flamethrowers, and M60 machine guns. <laughs> the U.S. and North Vietnamese armies used many explosives. They both used grenades. The Viet Cong used them in booby traps. They attached trip wires to them and put them in spike traps. The Viet Cong made many traps. Another explosive the Viet Cong used were landmines. They buried them in the ground and when a soldier stepped on them, they would explode. The U.S. also used cluster bombs. They dropped them from planes. Cluster bombs were canisters containing a couple of smaller bombs the size of tennis balls, like this big. When dropped from a, when dropped from a plane, the canister would open mid-air, dropping all the bombs on the enemy. Battle. In the, ba in the Vietnam War, there were four major battles. They were the Battle of Dak Tho, um, the, Tet, the Tet Offensive, the the, sea, the Siege of Khe San and the Easter Offensive. There were many casualties and the battles could last from weeks to many months. The Battle of Dak Tho was fought from November 3rd, 1967 to November 22nd, 1967. U.S. and Allied casualties were 1,900 and North Vietnamese and Viet Cong casualties were 2,600. The Tet the Offensive was fought from January 1st, 1968 to uh, August 30th, 1968. U.S. and Allied casualties were 45,800, and North Vietnamese and Viet Cong casualties were 75,000. The Siege of Khe San was fought from January 21st, 1968 to April 8th, 1968. U.S. and Allied casualties were around 7,400, and North Vietnamese and Viet Cong casualties were around 
10,000 to 15,000. Finally, the Eastern Offensive was fought from March 30th, 1972 to October 22nd, 1972. U.S. and Allied casualties were about 272,500, and North Vietnamese and Viet Cong casualties were about 100,000. More than th 3 million people died in the Vietnam War. Life as a South Vietnamese soldier. Life as a soldier in the Vietnam War was hard, so I will tell you about what it was like as a South Vietnamese soldier. South Vietnamese soldiers had to protect villages and towns from North Vietnamese and Viet Cong soldiers. They also went into the jungle to hunt the enemy down. They did both these duties day and night. When soldiers got a light injury, they were treated at a field hospital. But when they got sick or seriously injured, they were transported to an army clinic by an army or helicopter ambulance. The soldiers only got 15 days a year to leave and visit their families. They got their monthly salaries and ate free meals in their units. The outcome. In 1975, the last of the U.S. troops left Vietnam and South Vietnam was left alone. North Vietnam and the Viet Cong then proceeded to attack Saigon, Saigon which was South Vietnam's capital. Vietnam was then under the control of communists. In honor of North Vietnam's president, they renamed Saigon Ho Chi Minh City, which was the president's North, Viet North Vietnam's president's name. The anti-communist forces had lost. This was the first war the U.S. had lost. Life as a prisoner of war. Um, after the war ended, the communists forced all the high and low ranks in the South Vietnamese army to be in jail. They wanted them to be re-educated about communism. At first, they said the prisoners would only have to stay for a month, but after a month, they said three, then six, etc., etc. In the end, they would have to spend six or seven years in the re-education camps in North and South Vietnam. When they first arrived at the prisons, the guards took away all the prisoners' belongings, including clothes. They gave the prisoners tattered civilian clothes. They only had two sets of clothes each. The guards wore army uniforms and yelled and beat prisoners, even if there was no reason to. Many prisoners did not obey the guards, so they were put into confinement cells. Every day, the prisoners woke up at 5.30 in the morning. Before they ate their breakfast, they exercised and used the restroom. For breakfast, they had a single sweet potato. After they finished eating, they worked in a field. Since the camp di didn't have any water buffalo, they used the prisoners to till the rice fields. The field has, had been vacant for a long time, so it had leeches around the place. The prisoners also had to clear landmines and barbed wire without any safety gear. At 11 a.m., the prisoners had lunch. The lunch was a single rice bowl. Uh, guards measured how much rice each prisoner got so no one would get more than anyone else. They got back to work at 1 p.m. In the evening, prisoners were given another rice bowl to eat. At 7 p.m., all prisoners had to enter a prison house. They had to listen to an officer to do a self-criticizing process and listen to communist policies. Then they went to bed at 9 p.m. or 9.30 p.m. They did the same thing every day with very few breaks. Hence my report. So here's a picture of my grandpa right there. He was in the war. Um, here's him in the war and here's another picture. So my hop, it's um, do any of you know the card game War? Uh -huh. yeah. oh. Okay, so it's like, I am basically did this with a bunch of cards. Um, I have a bunch of questions, and I have a bunch of cards. There's, It's two players. And once you ask the questions, you have to find, um, you have to find the card that is the answer. But I, hit, I put in, like, fake answers 
So if you put the wrong card, you lose basically. Yeah. <laughs> you lose everything. One more minute. Oh, okay. so um, uh, here, the, um, here's a flag of the U.S. Um, here's a flag of South Vietnam, a flag of uh North Vietnam, and a flag of the Viet Cong. Um, my top ten facts: the war lasted from 20 years, from 1955 to 1975. More than three million people died in the war. North Vietnamese and Viet Cong soldiers used guns such as AK-47 rifles and SKS carbines. U.S. soldiers used M-16 rifles, 12-gauge shotguns, M9A1 flamethrowers, and M-60 machine guns. When there weren't guns available, the Viet Cong made homemade guns out of pipes, old parts of guns, bike parts, etc. The Viet Cong used booby traps such as um, spike um, pit traps. Um, when interrogated, a uh, Viet Cong soldier said that they trained children, South Vietnamese children, to throw grenades at enemy soldiers. <laughs> um, the, the communist forces took over Saigon and the war ended in 1975. When the war was over, they changed Saigon to Ho Chi Minh City after the Vietnam's president. <coughs> South Vietnamese soldiers had to go to prison and had to stay there for six to seven years after the war. And here's a classic poem. Uh, it's, I'm not too, too sorry, you're not going to have time to read that right now. Okay. Just in your evaluation. My evaluation paragraph. I have really enjoyed studying and learning about the Vietnam War. I would recommend this topic to anyone because if you have the right books and websites, you will have a great and interesting topic. The main reason I chose this topic is because my grandpa was a South Vietnamese soldier in the war. He was captured after the war ended and had to spend seven years in prison. I wanted to learn what he did in the war and in prison. I hope that you have enjoyed and learned a lot about my topic, the Vietnam War. Okay, three questions, comments, or compliments. And, uh, Sammy, you want to get your stuff ready? Did any, did any soldiers stop? Soldiers cheated the prison. No, so they. I'm pretty sure they went out to find every single one, but I'm, I'm guessing that at least a, a couple escaped, um, and they didn't go. Here. Uh, um, I really like your report, and I like the layout of your board. I think everybody, everything is organized, and so it's very Thanks. nice. Kim. Um. This so-called educational camp—it's like they're basically just getting their revenge back. They're just treating the South Vietnam soldiers really bad, right? Yeah. Um, and also, like during the Vietnamese uh, War, um, like there were also boats that send off people from like the yeah. Vietnamese War, right? <coughs> uh, to yeah. The U.S. Good job. Well done. Good. And our final project for today is Sammy. Okay, uh, voice is off and ready to listen.